Hello there, we're at Warfare 2022, as you know, and I'm here with Leon, the young boyish proprietor of Pendrack Miniatures. Youngish, let's now, go with that. Now, for years and years, I'd seen, I'd seen a gentleman a little bit older than you, so what, what's the story there? So that would have been Dave, that's my dad. That's your dad, um, yeah. yeah. so he started the business in 92, and then I kind of took over things around 2009-ish. Um, uh, oh, so that wasn't that recently then? No, no, it's been a while now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It feels like yeah. longer. But uh, we are still a family business, as Dave still works in the business for yeah, us. Yeah, and it's your, uh, it's your wife who's running yeah, the stall no, over no, there, very no. much family business. Oh yes, um, there's been mother, sister, aunties, uncles, they've, they've everybody. all been in there at some point. Right, okay. Um, so in terms of Pendrack and Risen, I mean the big news for anyone that doesn't know, is you're not just kind of in the garden shed anymore or in a factory unit, no, you've no. got a shop. Yes, yeah, so we've, yeah. we've kind of gone from the garage to the unit, to a bigger unit, to a shop front now. To a shop, and you've got a games room in there. Yes, we do. Coffee yeah. machine. Somewhere, yeah. Dancing girls, there, the whole, the there, whole there's, there's, there's a coffee robot hiding somewhere. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and what was, what, what was this? is that just like a, a gradual scaling up thing for the company? It was that, and it was kind of long-term security. So with this one, it's, it's our own building now. So we've been right. able to make the move yeah. from rental into our own building. You own it outright. Yeah. And you thought, which, well, if we do that, we might as well let people in. Well, yeah, and it also gives you the opportunity to customise your space with yeah. rentals. Whatever you do, you need to put back. So at least with this, it's our own building and we can go, we want this space holes in the to wall. do this. Yeah, so yeah. we've built new rooms and we've fully knocked out walls and we built sections of it to fit what we need it to be. So that's nice. given us the shop and, front and of the game is space. Is this a seven day a week thing? Most of the, most of the time, yeah. yeah um, the time. Not, not so much the shop isn't open seven days, but... But the work. Yeah, running a business is always seven days yeah. a week. Uh, right. but the shop's open Monday to Saturday. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, I mean, Pendragon, you're, f you're most well known for your 10 mil stuff. You yes. have other stuff, yeah. but 10 mil is like almost proprietary Pendragon stuff. Yeah, that's kind of what we became known for. We have moved outside of that and added things in because it, it makes more sense to be able yeah. to, to cater to more people, but 10 mil is our call. And over the past sort of 10 or so years, you've been slowly adding used to be strictly a miniatures company. Yeah. Now I remember in the early 90s buying that sci-fi <laughs> and aliens. Yeah, pack. a long time ago. Um, uh, yeah, and you maybe did some tripod at, at some yeah, point. We got, yeah, machines. we still got those, yeah. Still They're still got knocking those. about. Um, but you, over the years, you've been updating those ranges as well. Yes, yeah, we've, we've, we've released a lot of kit. I mean, the past 10 years, it's well over a thousand products that wow. we've put out um, across all, from Ancients through to the Falklands War, and more recently, the Cold War. Um, we, we really, we, we try and get at least tick each period every every couple of years if we can. Uh, and a lot of that is customer led as well, taking requests from people. Yeah. Um, if the more popular a request becomes, the more likely we are to put it into production. And, and, and in terms of, again, as people are not familiar, one of the th one of the key things you do is is metal tanks. Yes. <laughs> is that, it's that's not old very school, common these no, days. No, old school metal you tanks. Make, you know, I think Skytrek still makes some metal tanks, but they moved over to resin yeah, yeah. more recently. Because yours are in 10 min. I mean, you can still knock somebody out from across the room with a tiger. You could hurl, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but you make you make metal tanks in yes, 10 mil. Yes, we do, yeah. If that's, if that's what you want, a metal range of vehicles, yeah. it's all there. And you've also been slowly, I don't know whether you've been commissioning roles or you've been taking roles that work well with your system. A bit of both, yes. Well, the opportunity came up a few years back to buy the Commander series of rules, which was Blitzkrieg Commander World War II, Cold War Commander, obviously Cold War, yeah. Post War and Future War Commander, which was kind of, a, not quite space age, but more kind of land-based sci-fi. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we then revamped those into uh, Blitzkrieg Commander, which is in its fourth edition, that was released in 2019. Cold War Commander in its second edition, which was released this year, has gone down really well. And then Future War will be next on the line. 18 months, 12 to 18 months away. There's going to be a new be. range of figures for, to support and, that game. Yeah, and then next year we've got about 20 ranges or races or nations, however you want to. Right. Um, and, are, are, and are these going to be proprietary races? Are they going to be your own invention? Or are people going to recognise it? Are they lizard men, orc men type things? Or You'll probably recognise some because you, you always end up dipping into certain yeah, yeah. Um, kind of uh, yeah, stereotypical races that are out but there. But we're going to try and make them a bit more interesting. Yeah. Um, we're starting with the human-based ones because they're a lot easier to do. Mm -hmm. So you'll have your, your corporates and your theologians and that kind of thing, cultists maybe. And then we'll start dipping into some kind of space dogs that are quite fancy, maybe dingo heads. 
Make nah. some space These ducks. Dogs, yeah. They were in Traveller, so they must be good. <laughs> ducks. Uh, my, one of my, ducks? One of my kids that was a said, quest thing, I think. Yeah, one of my kids said, can we have ducks? So can we have, and you got ducks with guns? Why not? In 10 mil? Why not? Yeah. Well, there you go. I don't know where we can go from that. Ducks with guns in 10 mil in the next 18 months. Yes. Is that straight to release or have you, are you a comedy that looks at the Kickstarter model? We've done it in the past for other things, but I'm not a fan of Kickstartering things that I can afford to pay for. Right. I, kind of, I prefer the traditional, if I'm going to kickstart it, I need to test the market and see if there's enough there to warrant the expansion. Uh, with this, we know there's a market out there for 10 mil sci-fi. There's the drop zone players, there's yeah. old epic players that might fancy a scale up. So there is a market there, so we'll just put these to market in batches. That seems right. more sensible okay. route for that. And the other thing that I, I kind of forgot to mention, what I liked about Pendragon is, it's a bit, feels, it's a bit old school now, but you have quite an active forum as well. Yeah, we've. I think because we've been around for so long now, the 30 years, we've kind of, we've got a lot of the old school visibility in the guys that read the magazines and still send me mail orders with a check. All oh, right, with a traveler's order. check, with stamps on yeah, everything, yeah. Uh, postal orders. Um, right through to the modern age of social media and yeah. next year we'll be doing a lot more of this kind of thing, which is the YouTube world. Right. Uh, which is what we need to be getting into. Is that, and maybe uh, we need to get up there and, and play one of your yeah, games. More than welcome, get yourself stuff up. out. Yeah. All right, uh, so that was Pendrack Miniatures. We're hopefully we've shown you a bit of footage of some of the stuff that they've got to do. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.